Yo, what's good everyone? So, quick one while I'm out the shower, just before dinner. I want to talk to you about cold outreach. Because I've been getting a lot of DMs about this, right? Matt, how do I do cold outreach? Your, your YouTube always talks about warm and inbound. Uh, what about cold? Matt, how do I reach out to leads who are cold, right? If they're not coming in my inbox, what do I do? So I want to make a disclaimer before I, I start with this video. There is no magic pill. The, if you're expecting me to say some sort of magic pill or unheard tactic about cold outreach and booking calls through that, there is none, right? So if that's what you were expecting, just click off right now. That's completely fine. But this is what I would do. And this is what I typically do with cold outreach. And, you know, because it, it's worked before, right? I book calls through cold outreach. Don't get me wrong. But it's just a lot easier if they're warm and inbound, right? But sometimes you don't get that privilege. So let me show you how to handle that. So this is what I'm currently doing at the moment. And this is what I tell people to do. This is how most people actually let's do what most people do. This is what most people do, right? Most people, they tell you to do this, right? Just spam DM 500 people a day. And just copy and paste the same message. Just change your name. You'll be fine if you change your name, but just spam, copy and paste the same message template. Right? This is what most people tell you. It doesn't work. Okay. Maybe for some, if you hit enough volume, maybe. But guys, I don't think you want to be doing this. I'm sure you don't want to be doing this, right? That's what most people will tell you. So this is what I'll tell you to do. If we go to one of my appointment setting principles, which is when it comes to the opening, AKA the first message, when you start the conversation, you want to give a good reason to start that conversation, right? You want to give a good reason to start that conversation because what most people are do are doing is this you're copy pasting the same message and they're just reaching you out of the blue you don't know them they don't know you and they're hoping something lands so the way you instantly stand out is by giving a good reason why you're reaching out so for example if with inbound for example with warm traffic you'll have people liking your posts commenting following you you'll all be doing this for your content so what I tell people to do and what I do all the time is to message these people, right? Because they're already warm. Just message them. They say, hey, thanks for liking my post. I appreciate it. How's business going? That's an example. Feel free to use that. Or hey, thanks for commenting. Means a lot. Appreciate you. How's business going? Same thing with followers. Hey, I appreciate the follow. Hope you have a blessed day. How's everything going on your end, right? And if you aren't doing this already with warm and inbound leads, then I don't know what, I don't know what you're doing. You need to implement this because these are people who have already shown interest in your content. So why aren't you reaching out to these people? Okay. But that's an example of giving a good reason to be, you're reaching out to them because they've engaged with your content. You're, you're reaching out to them to thank them for following you, right? That's a great reason. And the reason why this works is because now the, the conversion rate is going to shoot up. The open rate is going to shoot up now because so, they're like, okay, I, I kind of do have to reply back to this person. They don't always do, but it gives a good reason to, okay? So your conversion rate, your reply rate, whatever you want to call it, just goes up and you know what that leads to, okay? And it doesn't have to be liking, commenting, following. It can be as simple as it can be anything at this point you've got to get creative like i was speaking to a guy today he was asking okay what do i do to start the conversation i told him it does not matter it doesn't matter honestly if you like the post commented if they share the same birthday as you and homage to i'm going to pay homage to one of my old mentors because he drilled this point home to me it's like the opening doesn't matter as long as you give a good reason to reach out right if they have a birthday Let's say they went on, if you go on their story and they're celebrating their birthday, you just swipe up to say, happy birthday, man. Hope you had a good one. Start the conversation there. While it might not be business related, you have to use your appointment setting Riz and use your brain to try and turn it from casual to business. Okay. 
That's gonna take skill, that's gonna take reps. I teach it with my, um, my appointment setting guide, which I just released in the description. <laughs> so birthday, doesn't matter. Anniversary, if you're from the same country, doesn't, doesn't fucking matter, okay? Sorry for swearing, but actually I'm not sorry, but anniversary, country, anything to build a connection and start a conversation because one of the key things is report and building a connection. And if you don't establish this early on in the convo, that was a weird P. If you don't establish this, then it's gonna be very hard for them to wanna book a call with you. You need to establish some sort of report and some sort of connection. So it doesn't matter. That takes all the pressure away now. That takes all the pressure away of thinking, what's the right opening to do? It can be anything. As long as you build report and give a good reason to do so, to, to reach out, then you're good, right? And just do this at scale, 30 to 50 people a day. Try this out. And I want you to see how it goes, okay? Track the results, as I said. There is no magic pill to cold, it's just how it is. You're not gonna get as high as of a conversion rate compared to warm traffic or inbound traffic. That's why I advocate building a brand. Well, if you're a business owner, build your brand, post content, so you start getting these people. And it makes it, your job a ton easier. But for now, if you're, rel if you're relying on cold outreach, it doesn't mat matter what the platform is too. You can do this on Twitter. You can do this on Instagram. You can do this wherever, bro. Except YouTube, because there's no DM feature, but it doesn't matter what the platform is. This is my cold strategy, my cold DM outreach strategy. Let me know how it goes. Just get the opening done, start the conversation, and then just follow my appointment setting structure, okay? Which I've taught plenty of times on the channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and uh, share this with a friend who needs it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.